All right, yo, what is up, guys? Today we're gonna be playing Dungeon Defenders Awaken again. Um, and this is uh third third map. Uh, let's see what we gotta do. Uh, uh, we are gonna be doing the lava mines this time, and let's just get right into it. Of course, we're gonna do medium hardcore again. Uh, maybe, hopefully, I won't fail like uh, last time. <clears throat> <clears throat> holy smoke sorry about that i was literally like i can't my throat is so fucking clogged i know that doesn't sound right but <clears throat> it is and it's like annoying i'm gonna open up this v8 so i have like something to drink oh my gosh all right there we go all right so is there still only one crystal yep there's one crystal and it looks like the enemies only really come from two places, so I guess we will just make a very simple build here. Just that. And sorry if my phone makes noises. Uh, like I said in the last one, my charger's like broken. And it will randomly unplug and plug back in, so it's very fun, right? It's super, super fun. Alright, for this we're not doing anything crazy. We don't have enough. So we're just going to do this. I did like spend my skill points on all my characters before this video. And I did equip a couple things, but for the most part, everything is exactly the same. All that mana. We are kind of just abusing my DPS here for the first wave. Low combo. This orc was literally just getting bullied. Could have done the wave on my uh, apprentice, so I could have built towers during the wave. But whatever. <clears throat> and he's gone. <laughs> All right, let's make sure this side doesn't. Oh my gosh, dude! Our spike blockade has so much health. I don't think they're ever gonna break that. I'm probably just jinx myself. Alright, let's repair it. Let's repair these. Alright, I guess we should do this every wave and pick these all up because I need gear. So let's just do that. And repair, repair. Swap to our squire, place the wall. Place it right there. And let's swap to our apprentice. Um, for this, probably going to do a combination of magic missiles and fireballs. I would do all fireballs, but I don't have a strength drain ore yet. So we will do something like... This does not look like <laughs> very nice. So I'm going to be doing... I don't want this to get hit if there's like an ogre or something. So maybe I'll put it way back here. And then I'll do a magic missile up here. And then on this side, I'll do something very similar. I'll just do that. And that. Both of these are probably going to get a hit eventually. So I'm going to put one over here as well. And let's just G and see what happens. I'm going to maybe build a tower during the wave, but we only have 60 DU on this map, which isn't too much. Oh, it looks like enemies are eventually probably going to come through here, maybe? Wait, actually, no. Wait, is it... What is this? Oh, they get they go around, I guess, like that way. They're up there. I'm so lost. Yeah, they go around. Wait, do they come this way? Because look at the path. 
It's like right. It's like right here. Oh, is that above me? Yeah. Wait, what in the world am I reading? Like, <laughs> this map is confusing me. But there is an ogre right there. Honestly, I think this guy's just gonna die. I, I know I just got hit by a freaking fireball, which is never good. Or not a fireball, a spitball. But yeah, all right, our build looks perfectly fine. Oh, never mind. I take back what I said. They decided they wanted to hit the tower. So I'm just going to pocket it like, okay, well, you live and you learn. Holy smokes, that fireball just like got a pentakill. All right, we're going to do this, you know. Since the ogre wants to be uh, very rude, we're just going to do that. And we'll do one on this side super far away so it doesn't get hit either. What in the world? I do not want to build in Africa. I want to build over here. Um, and then we'll just do another fireball way back here. Because they seem to really be the thing that does like a bunch of bunch of damage. And we're going to do like the same thing over here. Another fireball way back. I just don't want them to take any damage. I don't think they'll take damage on this lava stuff, right? I, I think that's purely cosmetic. All right, we'll do that, and we'll actually utilize. Um, I don't know if I upgraded. I didn't. We'll util we'll utilize some gas traps, or poison, I guess. Why is my range like not changing? We'll do that. Oh, I guess the range is actually like, yeah, I know. I know it's like the outer range. It's like Dungeon Defenders one. Alright, so we only have 10 DU left. Um, so, why not do a fireball? You know what? It, to be cool, I'm going to place one up here. And let's let's see. Let's find a cool spot over here. Wait, imagine if you could... I know you can stack them in DD1, like uh, using a... What's it called? A, a macro. Um... But it'd be cool if you could like stack them on top of each other, like sh like uh like build a tower of towers. And then, why not place another thing over here? Oh wait, I don't have a mana. Just let's G. All right, let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll try to do this without even attacking an enemy. I wonder if it gives you a bonus for that. I think in DD one it does. See an ogre this side. No ogre on that side yet. Yeah, he kind of got deleted. Alright, yeah, it looks like the fireballs are just going to work. On both sides. plan pure strategy at this point yeah both sides look pretty good yep nice can I see like my character is there a way to do that no I guess not All right, but there we go. I guess the tower did get destroyed somewhere. Can I repair all this? Grab all of this stuff. And then on this side, I'm just going to place... That. And we're just going to G again. I think we're literally fine. I guess I'll upgrade some of these too. During the wave. Um, actually, I probably should upgrade to auras. Right? Well, actually, fireballs are doing a lot of damage. So, Yeah, that increased the DPS a lot. I'll upgrade the walls. Yeah, oh my gosh. They should not give me access to this tower. 
gonna be using it way too much. I could start using reflect beams. I don't know if there's physical beams in this game as well, but they'd be really nice. Instead of using these like blockades. Oh, well that tower didn't stand a chance. Oh, there are wyverns. Are they coming from only this way? Because if so, that's perfectly fine with me. I don't really see them coming from anywhere else. I can upgrade stuff twice now. It's kind of annoying that you can't... Wait, can you cycle? No, I don't think you can. I wanted to, like, cycle through all my defense so I can actually pick what I want to upgrade. Let's see what we got here. Let's upgrade this. I think this side is perfectly fine. But you can never be too safe. That guy's definitely gonna get lit up. Yep. Let's go over here and upgrade. I want to upgrade this and snare so I don't have to worry about him repairing anything. I really like how when you upgrade the auras, it upgrades the range as well. They should have really implemented that into Dungeon Defenders 1. Um, alright. Stats. Let's just go more power. And let's ready up. Oh, so it auto uh, opens that. And we're going to repair our stuff a little bit. Ugh. I don't have enough mana. Ooh. Don't want to get hit by that. Oh, don't jump in the... Let's see how quickly this ogre gets killed. Super guinea pig. Wow, what a name. Pretty fast. Honestly, yeah, pretty fast. All things considered. And I like to see the loot. No, you cannot. Hmm. Looting, it seems like a pain in this game compared to Dungeon Defenders 1. Like, I like Dungeon Defenders 1 where you can just open the map and see the quality quality of everything. And also, like, I don't know, you can just, like, equip it right then and there. I don't know. Maybe it's because I played the game so long, I just know what I need. Which makes it ten times easier because I know what I'm looking for. But I won't go, like, I won't. This like this this game for that, <clears throat> but this ogre is Susan is dead. Yep, all this mana. I wonder if your staff can give stats. Oh, do not want to get hit by that guy or that guy. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it gives you, you can get like stats, so you can get like tower damage, all that stuff. Alright, we beat this map. It was really easy, honestly. I feel like the other map was hard just because the magic missile tower sucks. But maybe that's biased. <laughs> V summary. Let's see. Knight four times, unbreakable, and tactician. All right, well, that was super easy. Oh, alchemical labs is next. That's cool. I've done that map before, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Um, See you in the next one.
And for the next map, I'm going to upgrade my characters. And I'll see you then.